Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here, senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer, church, house of prayer, prophecy rooms, equipping center. Come on down to South Florida. Some of you just need to move here. Be intercessory missionaries in the house of the Lord. I'm the founder of the Ignite Apostolic Prophetic Network and, of course, author of our devotional mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. And today's devotion titled, Just Surrender. And here's what I heard the Lord say. I know sometimes you feel like giving up, but don't give up. No, don't give up, says God. Instead, surrender. Don't bow to the enemy's pressure to quit. Surrender fully with all that you are and all that you have to Father's will. Surrender to his perfect plan. Surrender to his word. Surrender to his ways. Just surrender, says the Spirit of grace. Say it now. I surrender. Surrender brings freedom and delivers you from the temptation to quit and give up. Abandon yourself to father wholeheartedly and don't look back, says God. Now, isn't that true? I can tell you it's true. It's true. It's true. Today's scripture references Matthew 16 verses 24 through 27. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and Luke 9 verses 57 through 62. And the prayer starter for today, I refuse to give up and I resolve to surrender. Let me experience the freedom of total surrender to your will. Help me remain steadfast in my surrender to your ways and make me willing in the day of your power. In Jesus name. Amen. And amen. God, you are so good. You are awesome. You are worthy. You are worthy. Whatever it is we're dealing with, whatever it is we're facing down, whatever is facing us down, you are able to deliver us from the danger. You are able to deliver us from the shame. You are able to deliver us from the rejection, the toxic emotions. You are able to deliver us. You are the deliverer. You are worthy of our praise. Even when we feel like we're dying on the inside, you are worthy of our adoration. Even when our self-love causes us to hide our self-preservation causes us to flee our self-focus causes us to lose sight of you you are nevertheless worthy we praise you this morning with everything in us with our soul with our spirit oh God with our vocal cords we cry out to you this morning we cry out to you deliverer we cry out to you freedom giver we cry out to you way maker we cry out to you because you are worthy. You alone are able to bring into our lives that which we need most. You alone are able to remove from our lives that which is harmful and hurtful and painful and destructive to our relationship with you and to our eternal destiny. God, you alone, it's all about you. You stand You sit, you walk, you run with us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You never relax your hold upon us. We are firmly in your grip. Every devil in hell that comes against us will ultimately be unsuccessful in taking us away from your heart because we are firmly in your grip. You will not let go of us. No one, no one, no one, nothing can snatch us from your hands. God, help us today to feel that security, to understand that security, that if we want you, if we want to be with you, you will keep us in your bosom. You will keep us firmly in your grip. Ah, Jesus, we love you this morning. We love you this morning because you first loved us. We love you this morning because you first loved us. You loved us with a passionate love, with a dedicated love, with an everlasting love, with an undying love, with a love that just won't quit. God, help us, Lord, to tap into that love, the love that just won't quit. Help us, Lord, to find our motivation in the love that just won't quit. Oh, God, when we feel like giving up, help us 
us, Lord, to keep going for the sake of the love which just won't quit. When we want to throw in the towel, when we don't think we can take another step, motivate us with the love that just won't quit. Envelop us with the love that just won't give up. Oh God, we thank you this morning for what you're doing in our lives. Oh, we thank you, God. We praise you in the trial. We praise you in the circumstances. We praise you despite it all. We praise you nevertheless. We praise you even though we praise you because you are worthy. You never did another thing for us. You would be worthy of every praise we could emanate from our mouths, God. You are good and you are God. You are worthy. You are over the top worthy. Oh God, we praise you and we thank you this morning. We magnify you over every situation and circumstance in our life. Every fearful thought, it's got to bow to your name. Every toxic emotion, it's got to flee at your name. We've got to let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, I just hear the Lord saying, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Some of you think ties are binding you, but you're actually allowing it. You won't let it go. If you let it go, the ties would, lo would loose. You're holding on to some feeling, some emotion because you think you have the right. You're holding on to unforgiveness or bitterness because you think you're justified. You're holding on to sorrow or grief because you think it's necessary. But it's not necessary. It's not right. It's not justified. The ties that bind you could not bind you if you would just let the emotion go. I just see a picture right now and it's like the ties that bind you, they're actually flimsy little cords that you could snap in a second. And it feels like such bondage. It feels like you're just locked down. It feels like you can't even move. It feels like you're constrained and that the bands and the bonds are so strong around you that you have no hope of escape, that you have no hope of release. But it's a lie from hell. I tell you, God sent me to tell you, God sent me to tell you, it's a lie from hell. It's a lie from hell. It's a lie from hell. I see a picture. Some of you, these bonds... These bands around you, they're so thin. They're just so thin. You could just snap them right off of you. You don't need Samson-like strength. You don't need the strength of Samson to snap these bands off of you. They're thin. They're flimsy. It's a deception. <laughs> My God. It's a deception. Yeah, I, yeah I, okay. Yeah, some of you really are in deep bondage and you need deep deliverance. Okay, some people, some people out there do. But so many of you listen to me. The only thing that's, that's holding you is you. You're holding on to an emotion and that emotion is holding you. But it only has the, it only has the power over you that you're giving it. It only has the strength in your life that you're giving it. I wish somebody could understand me today. Oh, I just wish five people would get this today and just break those bands. It's so easy. Let go. Let go. Let go and let God. Let go. Give it to God. Give him the grief. Give him the sorrow. Give him the fear. Give him the shame. Give it to him. I recognize, I realize that some listening to me have deeper, 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 deeper issues that require deliverance ministry, that require, require deep inner healing. But some of you, it's just a matter of just... If you just lift up your arms and praise, those bands around you would just break. But you're deceived. You think it's so much worse than it is. But the solution is so easy. For all of you, the solution is easy. The solution is Jesus, and his yoke is easy. I see it so clearly. They're flimsy. They're not even, they're not even, they're not even holding you tight. They're not even wrapped around you tightly. It's just they're just kind of hanging there. But to you, it's a massive bondage. To you, it's, can I even get up in the morning and keep going? To you, it's, how did I get this far off the mark? How did I get in such bad shape? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, help us to see these little foxes that are spoiling our vine, and they're really little foxes in the sense that they're not massive bondages. They're little things we need to let go, little emotions we need to just get it straight. Help us forgive Help us to stop blaming ourselves. Help us to release the shame. Help us to let go of the pain and let you heal us. Help us to stop, to stop meditating on the things that bother us. Until we make, start, make ourselves so mad at everybody else and at ourselves and even at you that we feel like we're in a, trapped in a corner. 
Father, help us today to break free, to break loose. I'm telling you, for some of you, it's so easy. I just saw literally a picture. Some of you, if you just lift up your arms and start praising him with any kind of regularity, you'd break free and stay free. If you'd look up instead of looking in, there's a time to self-examine, beloved, but there's a time just to look at him and let him do what he wants to do because you can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I don't know unless he tells me. We don't have revelation unless he gives it. He is the revelation giver. He is the bondage breaker. He is the deliverance minister. His yoke is easy and his anointing breaks the enemy yoke. Father, help us today to come into agreement with you, to come into alignment with you and what you're saying. Help us, Lord, to stop making mountains out of molehills, to stop making big deals out of little deals, to make the main thing the main thing, to prioritize our lives, to seek first the kingdom. Help us, Lord, today to stop going around the same mountain over and over and over again, the mountain that keeps us from your best plan. Help us to stop encircling that mountain over and over and over again. And instead, give us the courage to say to the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Let that mustard seed faith move the mountain that's tried to move us. Do it for your glory, God. Would you help us today? Would you give us vision, clarity of vision? Would you give us revelation? Would you give us wisdom? Would you give us understanding into the ties that bind, whether they be great or whether they be so loose that we could just shake our arms and break free if we weren't deceived. I'm telling you, so many of you, your issues are not as bad as you think. You just need to get in the right environment, the right anointing. You need to hear the right word, the right bit of truth. And it would just be like, oh, <laughs> wow, really? And you just shake it off. Father, give us that aha moment. Give us that word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. Give us that moment where we finally see, bring us to that place where we see that what we thought was a giant is a little ant at a picnic, but we made it so big in our own minds because we listened to the vain imaginations that the enemy came whispering to our soul. Father, help us to hear right. Help us to see right. Help us to feel right. Help us to do right. Help us to move right. Help us to go right. Help us to run right. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. After all, our righteousness is in you. Help us to move right. Help us to live right. Help us to speak right. Help us to think right. Help us to do this thing right, God, so that we stop falling into the enemy's trap, the same trap. I see some of you out there, and you just keep falling into the same trap. It's as if you didn't learn the lesson the last time. It, it's as if... You didn't catch on last time. So the enemy is able to use the same trick against you. And you know why it works? Because there's some kind of toxic emotion in you. There's some kind of addictive pattern in you. There's some kind of something in you. It could be many different things. But there's, some th there's something in you that you're tripping over. You're making it easy for the enemy because there's something in you. Whether it's shame or fear. There's something in you insecurity, some doubt, some unbelief, been betrayed too many times and now you don't trust. I don't know what it is. You have to seek the Lord. But for some of you, the ones that keep falling in the same trap, hear me, you keep falling. It's, it's, it's like a pattern. It's like cycles, the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. You sense, it, you sense it when it's coming, but you can't stop it from happening. You know when it's there, but you can't make it go away. You endure it. And you're tired of it. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us see, help us spot the little foxes that spoil the vine. Help us to see it, God. Help us to see what we're tripping over on the inside. Help us to hear the thought that entraps us. Help us to know what it is we're dealing with so that we can cooperate with you in getting rid of it, to getting free from it. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord. <laughs> Clearly, we need your help. Clearly, we keep making the same mistakes. Clearly, we keep repeating the same patterns. Clearly, that's clear. What's not clear to us, God, is why. How can we break free? How can we stop and interrupt the enemy cycle? What do we need to do? What is the root, God? What is the root? Help us to see the root. Would you help us to see the root? Would you help us to see the root? Would you help us to see the root, God? Would you help us to see the root? 
so we can reject it, renounce it, repent of it, and be released from it once and for all, God. Would you help us today? We're in season of deliverance, people. This morning I heard the Lord say, I asked him, what do you want me to pray about? And he said, tell them to let their walls down. Tell them to let their walls down. What is a wall? It surrounds you. It covers you. It separates you. You understand that? A wall separates you. Sometimes it separates you from the voice of God because the wall is so thick. You've walled yourself in. You've closed off a chamber of your heart. A wall is a is a blockage, something that blocks the way. Sometimes we put up walls to block the enemy or to block pain. But in doing so, we're fencing ourselves in. We're barricading ourselves. We're hedged in, blocked in. The wall can be protective, but it can also be a deterrent. We can't get out. When we can't get out, when we can't get out, when we can't break through the walls that we built around our own lives, what do you do then? What do you do then? What do you do when you've enclosed yourself in with walls and now you can't get out? You've become a prisoner of your own walls. The enemy didn't even do it. He just tricked you into doing it. The enemy didn't have to imprison you. He tricked you. He just tricked you into imprisoning yourself with the walls. You built the wall brick by brick. And when it wasn't thick enough to keep out the pain the first time, you added another layer and you made it a little higher. Now all you hear is the sound of your own voice bouncing off the walls of your own mind. Because you won't listen to anybody because after all, they keep hurting you. And the Lord would say to you, let your walls down. Dismantle them. And the Lord would say to you today, let the walls down. Dismantle the walls that you have built around your life. Let your walls down, says the Lord. Dismantle them. Take them down brick by brick. Take the walls down. You and only you can do it, says the Lord. I'm not going to come in and break them down. You built them, says God. You take them down. You make yourself vulnerable to me, and I will speak to your heart, and I will deliver you. I just need some airspace. I just need some time with you. Will you take them down brick by brick? Will you take the wall down? The wall that you built, the wall wall of self-preservation, the wall of self-protection. I never intended you to wall yourself in. I am your provision. I am your protection and I am your preservation. So trust me. Trust me, says God. Trust me. Let your walls down. Let me in. I am standing on the other side. I am calling out for you. I am here with the anointing that breaks the yoke. Will you let your walls down? I know you're afraid, says God. I know it's scary. I know it is frightening for you to be vulnerable because of all of the past hurts and the wounds and the betrayals. I know that is uncomfortable for you to be transparent, but it's me, says the Lord. It is me. It's me. It's me, the one who created you, says God. It's me, the one who loves your soul, says God. It's me, the one who forgives your sin, says God. It's me. Will you let your walls down? I'm asking you to let them down and let me in. Let them down, says God, and let me in. Let them down and let me in. Invite me in to the chambers of your heart that were damaged, that were sullied by the enemy's agenda over your life would you do it if you can't do it for you says God would you do it for me would you let your walls down for me because the wall is separating us from the most intimate relationship I am with you I am for you but I want to be closer to you will you draw nigh to me so I can draw nigh to you I'm standing on the other side of the wall that you built to keep the devil out to keep people out but it's keeping me out of the fullness of joy, the fullness of relationship that I want from you because you're isolating yourself. You've taken yourself out. And I know that you love me and I love you, says the Lord, but I want to come closer. Would you let the wall down? I want to come closer. Would you let the wall down? I won't break it down. You've got to take the initiative. You've got to do it. I'll help you. If you say yes, I'll help you. 
I'll help you and I'll protect you and I'll heal you. I'll do it all for you because I love you. Will you let your wall down? Says God, would you let it down once and for all? Would you just let it down? Father, we thank you that you didn't build a wall between you and us, but you tore the veil so that we could approach you. There's no walls between us except the ones that we put up. So would you help us today, Lord, to let the wall down, to take it down, to demolish these bricks that our own pain caused us to erect around us? Would you help us, Lord, to break through the wall, whatever it takes, even if we're afraid, even if we're trembling, even if we don't think we have the strength to do it, would you give us the strength? 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 Would you give us the peace? Would you help us, Lord, to dismantle the walls that we've built around our lives, around our soul, around our heart? Would you help us, Lord, today to do what you're asking us to do? Because you want to go deeper with us. Help us, Lord, to understand that we are in your hands. And even though we've been hurt in the past, you can heal us and we can learn and we can stop falling into the same patterns, the same traps. We can start over clean. We can start over healed. We can start over wiser. We can start over. We've got to let the walls down. The Lord is saying, let your walls down. Some of you. You just, you won't be vulnerable with anybody because you've been hurt in the past. You won't be transparent. You won't open up and talk. You won't release what's in you so it can get healed. Help us, Lord, today to trust you again completely. Not to compartmentalize our trust. We trust you with finances, but we won't trust you with our heart. We trust you with our healing, but we won't trust you with our heart. We trust you with our relationships, but we won't trust you with our heart. What a tragedy that would be if we lived a life that way. So, Father, help us to break through and break free. Help us to let the walls down. Help us, Lord, to release the fear, whatever it is that's causing us to stay walled up. Help us, Lord, to lift our arms and pray to you because you are the deliverer. You are the healer. You are everything we need. You always were. We give you praise and honor and glory today because of who you are, because you're the standby. You're always standing by us. You're the advocate. You're always on our side. The blood speaks of better things. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one. Listening to the sound of my voice. And I ask you, Lord, to, as you promise in your word, watch over them carefully and affectionately as they walk through this process of healing, releasing these toxic emotions, a spiritual cleanse, an emotional cleanse. Help them, Lord, to see what they need to see. Release what they need to release. Tear down that wall. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is so good. Isn't he good? Got to let those walls down. You want to be healed? You got to let those walls down. I know it's scary. You've been hurt so many times. You've been wounded so many times, betrayed so many times. It's so easy to say, that's it. I'm not doing this anymore. But that's not the right response. So, Father, help us, God. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God is good. Some of you broke free just from that prayer broadcast. I'm telling you, we're in a season of deliverance. If you're not watching our uh, online campus messages and you think you need this kind of help, you should be watching and you should be praying with us. You can watch our online campus at ahop.online. You can become a, an actual member there as well. Receive pastoral care at ahop.online. Or you can just watch the messages. Go check that out. I taught yesterday on, what did I teach on yesterday? Last week we taught on uh, rejection. And this week we taught on depression and anxiety. And I'm not sure what I'm going to teach on next week, but it's going to have, the theme is going to be toxic emotions. So make sure you get registered for the online campus and watch those. You can watch them on demand or you can watch them live. There's an AM service and a PM service. Amen. Listen, if you want to sow today, if this has helped you, if this spoke to your heart or if you just want to support this ministry because you understand the value 
of media and how these calls can change your life. We get testimonies in every month. I don't share them all. They're not all to be shared. We don't have to share every testimony we receive. There will be too many Facebook posts to do it. I think it's encouraging people. But we just get so many of lives changed through this prayer broadcast. Maybe you're one of them. Can you sow today? Can you help us? Can you help us get into the nations? We're doing an inner healing retreat in London. We're doing an inner healing retreat in South Florida. I'm sure there's people that would like to come that can't because they can't get a plane ticket. We'd love to be able to just scholarship people, but maybe that could be part of what your gift does. Or maybe you'd like to come. Listen, help us today if you can, would you? In this labor of love, not just through the prayer broadcast, but through the planting of houses of prayers in the nation, through the prophetic training and teaching. There's a lot that we do. Would you help us today? God loves a cheerful giver and you can't outgive God. Amen. If you want to give today, you can do that. You can become a partner or you can sow a one-time seed at jenniferleclair.org slash give. When you sow, when you become a partner, you receive a monthly resource as our gift back to you. Jennifer Leclaire dot org slash give. You can also use the text to give seven five four seven zero one two one six one. Text the word pray to seven five four seven zero one two one six one. Text the word pray. You can use the cash app dollar sign Jennifer Leclaire. Cash app is dollar sign Jennifer Leclaire. You can use the PayPal PayPal dot m e slash Jennifer Leclaire. PayPal dot m e slash Jennifer Leclaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can also use the uh, Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. And of course, you can use the P.O. Box. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. And Father, I thank you for this offering. I thank you for this seed. I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to give into your kingdom. I thank you, Lord, that you bless this seed. Multiply it back to the giver in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We praise you and we thank you today, God. In Jesus' name. For the harvest on this seed. In Jesus' name. I lift up all of my Awakening House of Prayer leaders around the world, all my vendors, all my intercessors at prayforjennifer.com, all of the Awakening Prayer Hub leaders, the Awakening House Church leaders. I lift them up to you, all of my staff, all of my members, all of the uh, students in my schools, God. And I say, Lord, bless us indeed. Enlarge our territory. Uh, Let your hand of power rest upon us and keep us from evil and causing harm in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Isn't God good? I have a few announcements for you today. I'm going to be in Los Angeles at the School of the Prophets and Seers. Uh, I will be teaching there just uh, outside Los Angeles uh, near Torrance. And you can still get in on that. Registration will be closing. So please get there quickly to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com. You can get registered. There's a few more uh, openings left. Uh, it's a small venue. It'll be intimate. If you are a prophetic person, you want to learn about the seer anointing and those sorts of things, you're going to want to get signed up. It's going to be on Friday. So please do that. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com uh, for the Los Angeles School of the Prophets and Seers. We also have the uh, School of the Prophets and Seers in London. And I I offered a very special price to the first 50 people. If you're not signed up, you better get signed up now because you're just about to miss it. Uh, The School of the Prophets here is in London. We're also having inner healing events here in South Florida and in London. Uh, Inner healing immersion in London. All of this is at jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. The inner healing retreat in South Florida. You're going to want to get signed up for that. We're cutting off registration soon. So go get involved in that if that's going to bless you. Amen. The mass deliverance service. You can watch that online or you can come to South Florida. jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. The prayer cloth uh, miracle service. That's also available to watch online, or you can go on jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com for instructions. Amen. South Florida, get out to sharpshooters tonight. Uh, Spiritual Warfare and Prophetic Prayer at Awakening House of Prayer. Healing Rooms is Thursday at Awakening House of Prayer. Uh, da, 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 da. 
I'll be teaching next Sunday on altar ministry. Uh, when you're an altar worker, how do you do? What's the protocol? How do you do this the right way so we don't have mass confusion at the altar? Also next Sunday, I'll be talking in the School of the Seers about understanding the ecstatic realm and the mysteries of God and, and what the Bible says about these things. Then on July 30th, I'll be teaching on the gatekeepers, the gatekeeper intercessor. So if you're in South Florida, come out to the Awakening House of Prayer. And if you are, uh, if you are not in South Florida and you want to learn about the gatekeepers, I've got a lot of revelation on this. Uh, it's, it's really vital. If you're a gatekeeper intercessor, you get trained on this, really understand this. This is pivotal. Go to school, the and get signed up for that. Also in Atlanta, awakening house of prayer, Atlanta on July 30th as well. There's so much going on. Go to Jennifer I will be uh, in New York. I'll be in New Jersey. Uh, we have the school of worship. Uh, we have all sorts of things, night of worship, school of deliverance is starting in September. It's on early bird now. And there are four bonuses. If you don't get signed up before the end of the month, all that goes up. So please go reserve your spot now. And, uh, you know, you need to learn how to cast out devils the right way. Was there a wrong way? Yeah, there's a wrong way. Cause the sons of Sceva went away, beat up and naked. Amen. So you, you want to learn how to do this the right way. You want to learn the protocols. Deliverance ministry is vital in the church. I'll talk more about that in the days ahead, but go get that while it's on early bird. I'll be the King will be with us in September. Uh, please, if you're in South Florida, get registered for that. We have only so much space. And then, of course, the supernatural debt cancellation coming later this year. By the way, Prophet Vanessa, those notes you took in England where I kept telling you to write stuff down, I need those notes desperately. Um, I can't remember what all the things was. I said, you need to write that down. You need to write that down. You need to write that down. I need to, I need that. I need that. I need that soon. So please send that to me. Uh, da, da, da. Make sure you're on my mailing list. That's how you find out about a lot of this stuff. Get the links. A lot less, uh, it's a lot more convenient for you just to get it put in your hand and not to have to go search for it. So go there, jenniferleclair.org, and you'll see a pop up for the newsletter. You can also text 555 888. You can text the word profit, P R O P H E T, to 555 888. Text the word profit, P R O P H E T. 555-888. Amen. And make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's lots of content there for you. And we are approaching the 100,000 mark, which is phenomenal. Um, that gives you a lot more uh, exposure. It lets the messages go out. So if you're not subscribed to that, please go do that. Help us get over that 100,000 mark. By the time some of you hear this broadcast, we'll probably be over. We've got... Uh, Almost 91,000, so only 9,000 to go. Isn't that amazing? God is good. Media is key. Amen. I'm going to be uh, doing a lot more with media. Watch for it. It's going to be good. And uh, God is good. So listen, God is with you. Remember that in the season of deliverance. Don't miss the day of your visitation. Don't miss the day of your visitation. Don't miss the day of your visitation. God is good. Have a great day, Facebook. Love you guys.